is if you already know how to do multiplication, it's going to be basically the exact same technique. So you have 8.2 times 6. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to pretend like all the numbers are just whole numbers, that this decimal is not even there. You're just going to pretend like this is 82 times 6. Okay, so you're with me so far. So you just do 6 times 2 is 12. So I put down the 1's unit and I carry the 10's unit. Okay, so 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 8 is 48 plus 1 is 49. Okay, and that's it. We've got it. Now the only thing you have to do now is you have to count how many decimal places, you know, has the decimal been moved? So in this case, you can see it's been moved one place. That's it. So you take the decimal, which is here at the right side or the end of the number, and you move that one place. So the answer here is 49.2. Okay, let's look at another example. This one here, we've got 4.5 times 2.7. Now just a quick note, you don't have to line up the decimal points. You only do that when you're adding and subtracting decimals. With multiplying, you don't have to line them up. You're just going to be thinking of these numbers as two whole numbers, 45 times 27. Okay, so we've got 7 times 5, which is 35. So I put down the 1's unit and I carry the 10's unit. 7 times 4 is 28, plus 3 is 31. I put 0 for a placeholder there. 2 times 5 is 10. I put down the 1's unit, carry the 10's unit. 2 times 4 is 8, plus the 1 is 9. And then I just add straight down, okay? And now what we do is we count the number of decimal places. So we say this has been moved once, this has been moved once, that's 1 plus 1, which is 2. So I'm going to move this decimal point two places to the left from the right side of the number. So the final answer is 12.15. So are you getting uh, how easy this is? It's really just like multiplying two whole numbers and then counting the number of decimal places. So you just kind of ignore the decimal point. So let's look at one last example, 9.8 times 0.21. I'm just thinking in my mind this is 98 times 21. And it doesn't matter what order you put these in, whether you put this one here or this one here, it doesn't really matter. So let's take a look at how to uh, approach this one. We've got 1 times 8 is 8, 1 times 9 is 9. I put 0, that's the placeholder here. 2 times 8 is 16, I'm carrying the 1. 2 times 9 is 18 plus 1 is 19. I'm adding straight down. 9 plus 6 is 15, carry the 1. That's 10, carry the 1. Okay, 2,058. But it looks like the decimal point's been moved 1, 2, 3 places. So I have to move this 1, 2, 3 places. It's 2.058. So that's the final answer. So I hope this helped you to understand how to work with decimals and multiplying uh, problems that have uh, decimals in them. Subscribe to the channel. Check out some of my other videos on Mario's Math Tutor and YouTube channel. And I look forward to seeing you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.